Hello, everyone, and welcome to our um, Contributor Experience Weekly Meeting. It is April the 14th, 2021. Um, I'll be your host, Alison. Um, just the general um, general order of business. So we abide by the CNCF Code of Conduct. So in short, be excellent to each other. And um, yeah, if there's anyone new on the line, uh, be awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll do. We'll do some introductions. Oh, I'll kick it off. Oh. Okay. Here. Uh, I'm Bob Killen, Mr. Bobby Tables across everything and co-chair of SIG Contributor Experience. Uh, I'll go next. I'm I'm Marky Jackson, uh, Contribex release uh, manager, associate, and mentoring uh, approver lead. I don't know which I am. Do something with mentoring. I'll go next. Uh, I'm Allison. I am co-chair of SIG Contributor Experience. Uh, I'm a... Larson. Oh, go ahead. Who wants to go next? Uh, That's a potato. Okay. Hi, I am Sandhya Dalavi. I, I, I'm, I'm a software engineer at Capital One, but I will be contributing as an independent contributor. And I haven't really decided, but for now I have started looking into the cluster API because that's what I am most familiar with it. So this is my first meeting to just, I because I, apart from the reading document, I don't have other, uh, I don't know other guidelines how to start contributing. So I think hopefully I'll get some information from this meeting. Thank you. I'm Joel Barker, uh, uh, Lions Way. Um, we write we write some things for Kubernetes. It's great. All right. I'll go next. Um, my name is Laura Santa Maria I'm at LogDNA, and I help out with the community meeting. And uh, I'm really having trouble getting to this meeting specifically, but I am around on Slack. So come find me. And I will hand the baton off because that makes it a lot easier to Eddie. Hi, I'm Eddie Zaneski. Uh, I am the co chair of SIG CLI, and I work at Amazon Web Services. And I will pass off to Josh. Hey, I'm Josh Burkus. Um, I work at Red Hat. Um, I've been participating in the SIG for a long time in various capacities. I think that's everybody. Yeah. Everybody but somebody. Matthew. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Matthew. Hi, gang. I joined a little late. Um, I'm Matt Broberg. I am out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and work for Red Hat as well. That was a coincidence, not a setup. I can say my, my condolences this week. Thank you. Um, I am a little distracted, but happy to be around all of you wonderful people. And I help lead the upstream marketing subgroup for Contributor Experience, where we Try to help non-code contribution, tell stories, write blogs, that whole jam. So without further ado, um, let's dive right into the meeting. So first of all, um, events. So this is a very old template. So um, office hours. Uh, so who's doing it? I honestly don't know if we have someone lined up for office hours this month. Need to honestly poke George because I think mm -hmm. Pop and um, Rocco are um, going to officially be taking that over. Um, one I can be that... one of the panelists for both times. I think we do the early time and then a later time. Okay. But Same. I'll pick Pop. The uh, other thing is uh, we will probably wind up like need to file the issue of steering, but uh, 
request a StreamYard account because that makes streaming this stuff so much easier. No, no one has to have a dedicated computer for streaming yes, anymore. Please. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I could actually volunteer to run some of these if we switched over to StreamYard. Yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier for we can we can actually have you know redundancy. So with that uh, community meeting. All right. Um, well, so the community meeting is changing format, which I think most everybody here knows. But in case you didn't, it's changing format so that it's not SIG updates. It's going to be more of a discussion format. The first few are probably going to be really rocky. Uh, so I've updated our hosting guide. You'll find a link to that in the notes. Um, I'm also, we also have a spreadsheet that I still haven't sent out yet that I will send out today to KDev just saying, hey, drop your topics in. Right now we have one topic that Paris added and I know there's the release cap coming out. I think that was the, like two big ones that are out there. Might be actually the same topic. I have to go double check the spreadsheet. But um, we're gonna give it a shot this month, see if it works. And I will be hosting that just so that I can do this on the fly. I don't have to make somebody try to pull it off with silence on the other end of the line. So we shall see how it goes. Um, if anybody wants to join me on that crazy endeavor, feel free to reach out. Uh, it'll be a little different. That's the update, really. Cool. For, for just a tad of background context, um, we used to do a, a, a community meeting every week, but people stopped going, like attending that just because, uh, especially these days, a, a additional meeting every week is far too much. They were converted to monthly, but people, honestly, attendance continued to decline. People weren't finding them as useful. So we've been trying to brainstorm. Well, uh, Laura's honestly been the, the one brainstorming how to actually make uh, the community meetings worthwhile again. I, I really think moving some of the important discussions there is a good idea. Yes. Because if you look back when the community meeting attendance was like 150 people average, it was because we had major project discussions in it. Yep. I'm open to also doing more of like a podcast format instead of a video format, if that helps out. We're going to kind of see. Um, but if anybody has any ideas like, hey, this would be a really cool way to do it. Or go check out like this stream on Twitch. This is how they do it. It might be interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I'm wide open. <laughs> the problem with the podcast format is that means effectively pre-screening who gets to be a panelist, right? And and I'd really be worried about that um, because I mean, like for example, you know, we might choose like five people to be the panelists for the discussion around the cadence cap. But then say Kirsten Garrison really wants to speak up about the cap process and we haven't set her up as a panelist. So. Yeah, yeah it's, I think the big question is gonna be like, how do I manage the Zoom so that anybody who joins the Zoom call- well, what's, the, what's the date? Uh, it should be the third Thursday. I don't know okay. if it's actually, I just realized. I probably should ask how to make get this on the calendar. Um, that might be a good idea. I, yeah, the easiest way is you just ping Amy Scarvada. Um, the uh, yeah. Um, oh wait, no, that would be the, tomorrow. Is, no, okay, so. third. Ooh, yeah, third Thursday would be tomorrow. Which <laughs> clearly, it's not going to be. <laughs> nope. <it's not> okay. <laughs> um, maybe next week. <laughs> maybe next week. Yeah, maybe next week. Okay, okay. yeah. So let's set this up because I, I think the real answer for Zoom is to have one or more people who are so. just handling the Zoom mechanics, um, which I would be happy to do. Usually, we, the way we've done in the past is uh, the host just assigns co-hosts, and they serve as the ad hoc moderators for uh, the call. Um, so that way, the, the actual person speaking and sort of like running the meeting doesn't have to think about it. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so I will ping in the Slack channel about getting onto the calendar and who wants to help moderate. I fully expect to be vamping by myself for a while. So you don't uh, have to talk, but we're yeah. going to try to find other people to talk with me. So 
I can do the um, the the back the back end uh, Zoom management stuff. I have little to say, so I can help out that, that way. That would be great. Awesome sauce. So Joel and Josh, that'd be great. Yes. Yeah, and I'm happy to help when I'm not talking. Given given one of the topics we they have in the agenda, I'll be talking some of the time. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Thank you all. All righty. Um, next up, uh, Bob, is there anything in this template that I should just like delete? Like the. Uh... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So next up, mentoring. So meet our contributors. So I just got a ping from a Paris about meet our contributors. Um, it is uh, supposed to be the first Monday of every month. We need to update the calendar thing because uh, I think I accidentally deleted it and then recreated it, but then it didn't recreate properly and a whole bunch of other calendar stuff. Um, uh, Paris asked me if I want to host it and stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's OK. But um, yeah. Uh, which brings us. Um, any questions about uh, Mino contributors? Oh, and we probably also need to get some people for Mino uh, contributors as well. <laughs> are, are we also moving mock to StreamYard? That will be, yeah. The idea will be to eventually move all our streaming stuff to StreamYard. Um, right now, it is running off my personal account and need to fix that. OK. Um, the, um, do, you, do you need anything other than round to it to make that happen? I mean, presumably, is it going to require the CNCF to actually allocate some money? Yeah. So I'll have the we CNCF should have talked, We should have asked there, Paris about this yesterday. <laughs> there, there's a tad bit more about the uh, um, involved in this stuff. We'll have to set up a new Google group for it because of the way StreamYard hands out accounts and all that. But that will... Um, mm -hmm. We can follow up that one later. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that wraps things up for meet our contributors. Um, so next thing up on the line, we have um, mentoring the, the playground, Google Sum of Code, outreachy LFX mentorship stuff. Um, is, I don't see Ehor on the line, so. Um. I can I can speak to a couple of these. Um, uh, for Outreachy, we only had one team come forward with a project, um, and that project was actually around Kubert, which is a separate CNCF, um, uh, separate CNCF project. Um, so uh, the Outreachy mentors collectively. Um, decided not to approve it. Um, as a result, we have one credit without Ricci that will be reverting to their general fund and going to effectively pay for somebody else's internship, which is fine. Um, the um, uh, um, it, One of the things I would say is if anybody is interested specifically in diversity internships, we could use some turnover in the outreach mentoring team um, since the three of us who are mentors, me, Paris, and Nikita, have been doing it for the last two, three years, and, and some new energy would be great. Um, the, um, uh, I don't know what's going on with LFX. LFX is, is entirely kind of in Ehor's hands. This cycle, um, next cycle, I will get involved again. Um, the, um, and... Same in Google Summer of Code, I believe is Nikita. So um, I don't know what status is on that. I I don't know either. Um, I've been I've wanted to focus more in that area, but I have not been able to. All righty. Um... Same, same here. Uh, it's been very busy. Uh, so next, uh, next up, we have uh, the new contributor workshop. So we're supposed to move the meeting to this week. Um, 
because the meeting uh, that we have at the current time will clash with meet our contributors. Um, uh, so calendars, yeah. So now we have to move that meeting another week ahead. And I, calendaring is one of the most difficult problems. Uh, so yeah. That's uh that's all the updates I have on my end for the new contributor workshop. Um, but uh, if anyone else has anything to add, not at this time. Alrighty. Um, if you don't, uh, sorry, I don't mean to to interrupt. But would you mind if we go to the open mic discussion item? Um, because I have ten minutes before I got to drop for my next call. Okay. Yep, sounds good. Let's jump there. So we sent out the spreadsheet of the various like Contribex initiatives and priorities um, along with like their general staffing level. Um, if, actually, Allison, would, uh, would you mind making me co-host or sharing just a screenshot of the, or sharing the screen of the, the sheet? Okay, um, and we did get some volunteers um, and we have taken some action on some of them, but we need to actually like follow through and see what ones we can either break down additional issues, have touch points with the, with the various people that are volunteering to help with this. Um, so you can sort of see, like if you take a look at column F, you can see some of the, the people that volunteered. Um, So we don't necessarily have to like, you know, discuss every item on this call, but if, if you, if anyone on here can, that is like already familiar with a specific sub project or area, um, start sort of like following, uh, follow back up with this. That would be, that'd be great. I will take a look at this because I think some of these on here are mine. And now that I'm back more doing okay. things, definitely mentoring is, is high on my list. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can follow up with some of them here as well. I guess there are some <clears throat> things that I put my name on. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry. I just saw you. <laughs> The this this one screenshot of you you get less uh less people's faces. Oh, um, no 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 it's it's all good. Um, should be. Are there any items that people see on this that we want to just like talk about right now? Mm. Um. On on the spreadsheet. Uh, yes. Yes. When, uh, what, 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 what happened with season of docs is that, um, I mean, like, did you, did we get any applications or? So the, uh, the, the, the season of docs one specifically, the program has changed is no longer a mentoring initiative. Okay. Um, it is now a, uh, you basically put in a proposal and then um, the Google has approved a set of uh, tech writers and you essentially like you get allocate some money to pick from a pool um, to execute on that proposal. There was some miscommunication with the original setup. Um, so the CNCF was only able to submit one project under the CNCF umbrella um, to oh. the season of docs program. Um, oh. So Kubernetes did not get it this time. Um, yeah. Next time around, uh, that will be a, we'll, we'll be submitting independently from the CNCF. Good, okay. Can I speak to that? The, the season of docs is a slightly different project this year. Were you, was everybody aware of that? Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. I should say I was aware of that, but uh, a lot of people, oh. a lot of people didn't know the, that it had changed until the last minute. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of a, yeah. I'm happy to talk to anybody about the details of that. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I guess we will, if you are familiar with this, try and follow up uh, async out of here. If you want to brainstorm on stuff, please ping in Slack. Well, I actually think the next thing is for each of these items where we have volunteers to open an issue or an email thread or something else trackable. Yeah, so. I think the one thing, I don't know about anybody else, maybe this is just me. Um, I see a lot of just short names. I have trouble figuring out who's who. Uh, so I kind of, right now, I, I, I think I'm about to tag the right people on Slack, but I don't know. <laughs> so I don't mind doing a GitHub issue or an email thread. It's just kind of a um, making sure I get the right person and I don't accidentally ping a random person. Okay. So. Uh, can, like, I know some of those handles can uh, double check them because some of them are actually GitHub handles. Okay. I know I put mine down, but I wasn't sure on some of them. Yeah. So, okay. But, cool. Uh, I can I can follow up and make sure that the the handles are in there. Or I guess we could ask in. The well, and GitHub handles ask people to do it. Slack handles are not necessarily unique. Yeah, which is mm -hmm. really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just saying like we could just ping in Slack saying, "Hey, can you put your GitHub handle on here so we can add you to issues. Just mm -hmm. kind of ask people to update over the course of the next few days instead of putting it on you, Bob, <laughs> so that you can go like, here, I know this person and this person and this person. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm happy to try. I don't know if people don't fill out by like, say, end of the week, I can, I can do stuff on there or really like next week or something. But that I, th I think does that mostly wrap up this? I have just a couple yeah. more minutes. I th I think we've covered everything here for now. Um, yeah. So feel free to jump off the line and take a breather before the next meeting. <laughs> so. Right. Um. And with that note, uh, the next item on the list. Uh, so we were at new contributor workshop before, um, and now we're at uh, open the community management. <laughs> um, so need to know chairs, team leads, emails. There's not enough updates to send one out yet. So um, that covers that area. Um, uh, next we have dev stats. Um, does anyone have any information about what's happening with dev stats? Uh, uh, I can give a quick update. So dev stats is being like adding a bunch of boards to be useful. We've talked about it before, um, but it has been delayed uh, due to some uh, health issues and it's in the, in the rollout of it. Uh, it might pick back up next week. Awesome, thanks for that update, Bob. Um, so anyone got anyone got any questions around the dev stats or shall we move to the next item? Move to the next one. All right, marketing. Um, I see we have a Matt on the line. Oh, hoi hoi, yeah, Ahoy. I'm here. Um, Wait, sorry, are we updating it in the spreadsheet that's up or should I give an update oh, to where we are? Uh, the spreadsheet was just for that previous topic. Okay, cool. I just wanna make sure I, I was following. I I left the share on. <laughs> All good, no worries. Um, we are doing some maintenance work uh, at the moment. We have six new regular attendees. So I'm adding them to the Slack group. And uh, that's well, first off, that's just really cool. Uh, two of them are here. Joel and Sladen are both amazing and sharing their their thoughtfulness. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're getting them in there. Um, 
got a handful of contributor stories. We're starting a series on the .dev domain with Bob's support to kind of build up a, a blog there, build up a narrative that's different from .io, where it's about being a Kubernetes user and getting those stories out there. .dev, we're hoping to, to set it up to be a place for developer conversations and contributor conversations. So starting out with personal stories, like how do you get involved? What do you do to get involved? And then uh, from there, I think later this year, we'd like to see some stories of how do you set up your dev environment for Kubernetes? How do you, what's your favorite CLI tool? Some of the details that people love to see and will help elevate the site's SEO in the process. So that's been fun to scope out a bit. Um, if you're at all interested in sharing your story, we would love to help you. Um, Allison, Laura, uh, in particular, like, I think you both have really cool, unique stories. I know personally, I don't know everyone else on the phone as well. Um, and we have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, Joel has been helping copy edit things and is really, really good at it. I love doing it too. So, uh, let's, let's talk on that. Um, others are very welcome to, to, of course. Um, I think beyond that, like, yeah, we're just keeping up with the Friday cadence, getting some ideas out there. Oh, and we, we recorded a talk for KubeCon EU, uh, which the deadline's always a lot sooner than the conference. So very happy for that to be ideally the last uh, virtual conference I present at um, on what we're doing. But uh, it's cool to get the word out about this. There's a lot of good momentum. Any questions? I see a bunch of thumbs up. Cool. Thanks all. Cool beans. Um, next we have the uh, contributor documentation. So uh, any updates on the contributor guide? Um, I don't see Bob on the line because oh, he had to drop halfway through. <laughs> so if anyone has any updates on the guide. Uh, that and the uh, developer guide. Does anybody have something on the contributor guide? I wanted to talk about those two together as whether well, they should be on this agenda, but I don't want to jump on that. Um, they, they moved on to this agenda when we were doing a very active project to work on those. I don't know that there's active work on the developer guide or certainly if there's active work on the developer guide, my name should not be on because <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, nor should Eric's, um, unless you need us on that. Um, but but currently, uh, this is like the third week that I've been like, I don't know, a little embarrassed. I know yeah. previously I was the one that was working on the developer guide. This was like a year ago. Uh, I get some work done. I'm happy to pick it back up and help move it along from a developer perspective. But uh, I'm going to be syncing with Bob later at some point about the spreadsheet of all of the open items. So this will be one of the things that I'm uh, going to talk to him about. Happy to put my name there. All righty. Um, yeah. Is there any, any other updates around contributor documentation? Feel like all these like little side bullet points too we could probably just group them into a general discussion about so uh. mm. no i um github management so well the problem is that bob already left so yeah is anybody else here on the github management team Funding the next meeting, I would say. Okay. Uh, Slack infra, is there anyone here on the Slack uh, infra team? Uh, me, I think. And uh, there are no updates. I will say that the new bot has been released and uh, might be making a few little tweaks to that. I'm going to sync with Bob and Carlos. And that is it about Slack infra. All right, um, which leads us back to open mic and discussion. Um, uh, is there anything uh, 
folks would like to discuss? Um, I'll take the... <laughs> So I, I'll just like go and revisit a point at the start. So um, uh, at the at the beginning, we 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 had a new contributor on the line. So I was gonna just elaborate on the whole how do you get kind of involved more with a SIG. Um, so do make sure you're subscribed to that SIG's mailing list. Um, I believe uh, there was a cluster APIs like mailing list, you should be able to find the mailing list um, in the link in the community repo under that SIGS uh, folder. So I'll just link that into the meeting notes now. So, and then from there, you should be able to, once you're subscribed to that SIGS mailing list, you'll see all the um, calendar invites for that six meetings. So you can kind of jump into, you can jump into that six meeting and also ask more questions about how you can get more involved with that six in specific. Uh, so, yeah. um, I think that wraps up everything for today so far. Or does anyone have any questions or anything they'd love to discuss? Alrighty. Well, on that note, um, ciao, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, and Bye, gang. I'll see you yep. next time. Uh, thanks. Bye. Here's all. Bye.